very good English. Then what are you doing with your lives? My name is Porto, aka Porot, aka the Nereverine. He played. <laughs> you are toxic, but you're fun. Um, he does a lot of uh, GeoGuessr, a lot of um, book stuff. He's also done a lot of Resident Evil stuff recently. So, yeah, Australian streamer, just like myself. So if you're into um, just new experiences, mind-altering experiences, go check out My Name is Porot. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, um, it's been a while since I streamed with you and the stream dude. Yeah, it's been good. Um, so we're just playing some years, book one and two, trying not to die. Trying to complete this game as fast as possible. And as you can see, we're having mixed results, but yeah. Um, Porat recently moved um, apartments, so... Like, we, me and him share a lot of similarities. We've both been English teachers. We're both well-traveled-ish. We're both Australian. And we've both recently moved uh, abodes. So, you know, basically, Porat is like my twin brother. Except with far more hair. Whoop. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. The game and Porot. Oh my god, that, that was gonna be death. That was not what we wanted to do. Alright, I think we're gonna go around the, this egg thing. Oh, don't touch me. By the way, um, Magic, do you uh, stream too? If you stream, I'll... Uh... I can shout you out if you would like. It is indeed. It's um as um Magic mentioned before, this was originally like um a game for one of those old Japanese uh, computers that never really made it out of Japan, and it was repackaged as a, like a deluxe version for the um, Turbo Graphics 16, which came out in 1990. Improved sound, improved everything, and uh, it really shows. This game is awesome. Oh, we didn't. At least didn't hit me. I believe that this is book one. Yes, we haven't gotten too far into this, and um, I just realized because ah, nah, 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 nah. no no no, I realized that since it's used book one and two, I've probably got like a second game that I gotta. I've probably got a second game that I've got to go through, but that, that's fine. I don't mind this. This is fine. Sweet and 3 in the other hand. Now that game looks like a time vampire. And I'm of two minds whether to continue it, but... Yeah. Transistor is up next. And then uh, we've got some... Uh... <laughs> eh. No means no. Um, so we've got some Sweet and 3 to cap off the stream. Oop. All right, I think we're going the correct way to get out. Oop. Get away from me, get away from me. Yeah, yeah, this is the correct way out. I think I'll save here. All right, all right, don't, don't die. Is that it? I don't think so. Oh, it is. And does my health regen? Yeah, it does. It's only when you go deeper into the shrine that um, you kind of have to beat that enemy, but... I wonder how many levels I've got to grind out. Because mm. I remember from months ago, when I kept trying to attack that boss in vain, there was a dude that was saying, you know, you're not leveled high enough. So I'm like, oh. It was all in vain. Oh, wait. There we go. This music really is sick. And listen to this music. Alright, so 
what is the plan? Where's a, a good place to level? Hmm. And is there some side quest I can do that will uh, help me? Uh, well, that leaves nowhere. Oh, this is taking me somewhere. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Just launches into conversation. It's like I've never met you before, but not long ago. My comrade Colin was lost in Darm Tower. He has been missing ever since. Why did he ever go to such a nasty place? I don't know. Maybe he's a nasty person? wants to get that nasty. Goban. Hey, where did you find that mask? What's it to you, Goban? That mask is very special as it allows you to see the passages that we mortals cannot. How do you know this? Well, good talk, Goban. Good talk. Um, hmm. Great. Does the old man say anything different then? Alright. I think it's just a case of me grinding a few more levels then. It can be done. It can be done. But not... No of these enemies out here. It's gonna have to be deeper into the shrine. Alright, alright. We can do this then. I'll just grind a few levels. By the way, Porto, I know that you're a very busy individual. And I appreciate you stopping by. But if you can't stick around, I understand. I'm just going to be grinding out levels. This is going to be very deadly boring. The, uh, the music do be sick, though. So kill a few enemies around here, and then go back when the health gets too low. Now, how many points are the enemies worth here? One point? I actually am of the same mind, depending on the game. Um, I think they're re relaxing for these sorts of games, like the 8-bit era specifically. But when you start getting into like um, PlayStation and PlayStation 2 era, it's not so relaxing, it's kind of a chore. Right, so 861, was that 2 or 1? Come here, little witch. Only 1, okay, so we've got to go deeper into the hole. Maybe start messing up those um, other things. Whoop. Get in the drive by then. Is it in here? This thing's very fast. I think it's to the right. There we go. Here? Probably. Ow. Ah, so they're so low level that they can't harm me. That means I need to go even deeper. Fair enough. Now, how about the enemies on this level? 865. 3. Not the greatest. I'd like to maybe get one level. And then try my luck again. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It helps when the, uh, the music is good when you're doing these sort of grindy things. This music really surprised me when I first played it. Do I need to go deeper? We need to go deeper. There we go. Okay. Now is that enough? 
I'm gonna say it's enough. And I'll save it. Yeah, me too. Yees. Like, um, everyone says, like, you know, look at Yees, look at Yees. But, um, there, there are so many series. Like, um, what's, what's one that, um, a fellow streamer does, um, Sharadowski. He does all sorts of stuff, but he does, um, well, he's currently doing one called Dark Cloud. So he's finished that one. He's doing Dark Cloud 2. And that looks pretty interesting. There's another one, like, um, I'd actually like to go to, um, and try some of the early era PlayStation ones, like, um, um, oh, what's the one I'm thinking of? Like, there was some really, like, trash. I thought that they were trash at the time, but I think if I went back to play them, that they'd actually be good. That's my whole... Like, uh, Valiant Hearts, I think, is one. And I think there's another one's Azure Dreams. At the time, I thought that they were complete trash. But I've just got the feeling now that maybe with a different set of eyes... It would actually be good? I don't know. And, to be honest... Those ones give eight. I should be going for those ones. Yeah, anyway, um... To complete those old PSX ones would probably only be like, uh, 15 to 20 hours. And I can- I could do that. But a game like Sukiden 3? It's intimidating, man. So how many of those would I have to kill? So, do, 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 do some quick math. So, 80 plus uh, okay, about 183 divided by 8. 20, uh, tw uh, between 25 and 30 of those blue things. I could do that. One more level, that'll be fine. I just need to not die. One thing that I'm... Some of those early um, PlayStation RPGs feel like SNES games in a way still, which is great. Agree. I totally agree. You know what would be really good? If you could like find like a hidden gem PlayStation RPG, but that... It still has that um, pixel art. I might have to do my research. Whoop! Oh, he wanted a piece of my ass. Not today. And that thing reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. Ah, ah. No, it's, it's all about this blue one. Because that one gives eight, whereas I think this thing gives three. Yeah, it's four. It's not enough. Yeah. It's all about that blue thing. That and not dying. Actually, the grinding... Now that I've uh, calculated it... This is probably going to be quicker than what I thought. I just got to make sure not to majorly F up. Ow! Do some occasional saves. Wouldn't want to lose all that progress. What's another one I wanted to try out? Um, Jade Cocoon for the PlayStation. And um, there were so many great games that I never um, completed. Um, and if we're talking great PlayStation RPGs that I haven't completed, Xenogears. Never completed it. Always wanted to. Got very close, and then I just... I dropped it. I would dearly love to uh, play through Xenogears. A true classic of the genre. This grind is going pretty well. 